Hello family, I am back again. Please excuse my ratchet look. It is 3.40 in the morning, but I decided to do a crock pot meal. So in order for it to be done tomorrow, it has to cook for eight hours. So I thought I'd get on in here and show you all this um, vegan jackfruit pot roast. Um, so here we go. I have, let me turn this around and I will show you the ingredients before we start filming. Hold on. Okay, so I have two cans of jackfruit, Jane, drained and rinsed. I have about 10 ounces of portobello mushrooms sliced, roughly. I have a medium sized onion, rough chopped. I have, um, I think I used 20 baby carrots, chopped rough. I have about a tablespoon of tomato paste, about three cloves of garlic minced approximately. I have Himalayan pink salt. I have black pepper. I have three bay leaves and I have about a teaspoon of thyme. I also have one and a half cups of red wine and two cups of vegetable broth. So here we go. Okay family, I am super upset right now because when I went to edit my video, um, there was an entire clip missing probably because my phone updated in the middle of my um, recording so anyway um, what you do is take all of the ingredients that I showed you plus I forgot to tell you about the one tablespoon of agave one to two tablespoons of agave syrup you put everything in the crock pot give it a quick stir turn it on and let it go for eight hours okay um and hopefully that is the only piece of this video that is missing and i'm going to shove this right in the middle where that part should be and then cut to the chase where we wake up and um it is now done so hopefully this will work out and i apologize guys all right, family, we are back, and it is now about nine hours later. I'm going to let you see what we got. Okay, so it is, I don't know if you can see or not. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so it is about nine hours later, and this is the result. So, what we have to do now is shred our jackfruit into pieces. You can do this two ways. You can take a masher and simply go in and mash it. So that it looks like shredded meat or you can take these out with two forks lay it on a cutting board and shred Once you get it shredded the way you want it, like so, then you can just put it back in the pot. Okay, so either way, you're going to shred. So I'm going to continue to do this. In the meantime, I have five 
big chopped potatoes boiling. I am going to mix them with some uh, almond cashew milk that I made yesterday and some earth balanced butter. Um, once they boil thoroughly, I'm going to mash them um, and maybe, maybe take my immersion blender and make them smooth and creamy. It just depends. I'm going to take a poll around here and see if my family would like rustic potatoes or if they want the smooth and cream. So I will be back when this is all mashed up and the potatoes are done cooking. Okay guys, I'm still waiting for the potatoes to boil, but I wanted to tell you to make sure that you get all of your bay leaves out of the pot before you start mashing because you don't want to eat the bay leaves. And also, since this is an all vegetable dish and usually pot roast is meat and has um, fat in it, I replaced the fat with about two tablespoons of earth balance, right? And put that in the pot. I also added some extra salt and pepper. You can do that to taste however you would like. And um, we're still waiting on the potatoes to boil. They got a nice simmer going on. So I will be right back. Okay, family, I am back. And I have now my five potatoes that are now cooked and drained and returned back to the pot that I cooked them in. I'm going to put the balance of the earth balance stick that I had prior that I added the fat back into the, um, the pot roast with and I'm going to put it in the potatoes and just mash. <sighs> And I'm mashing with the skins and everything on. You don't have to leave the skins on if you don't want to, but I like it. It has the most nutrition and it's absolutely delicious if you ask me. So I am leaving the skins on. Now I'm going to add some salt. Himalayan pink salt. And some black pepper. And continue my mash. Uh, Wow. Okay. That was the pepper. If you got to sneeze in the kitchen, always turn away from your food. Oh. All right. So, now what I'm going to do, taste it. Perfect. Okay. Now, I have this homemade almond cashew milk that I made. So I am going to pour maybe a quarter cup in there and give it a nice creamy texture. Right? And mash that in really good. Now, at this point, if you wanted a more creamy mash, you can take your immersion blender, add a little bit more um, almond milk um, or almond cashew milk if you want to be fancy, and take the immersion blender and whip it until it is nice and creamy and smooth. I particularly like 
this rustic consistency or texture with the skins. I think it's beautiful. Right? And it tastes delicious on top of everything else. So I'm going to take my pot, turn it back to the stove, and I will be back with a complete plate. I may make some garlic bread, some garlic toast. I'll be right back. Okay, family, I'm back, and I am going to plate this up for you. I have my mashed potatoes, rustic mash. I have my pot roast, and I made some garlic toast. So, you bring the mashed potatoes over here. The serving there. Going to get some of this pot roast. Just layer it on top of the potatoes. And Piece of garlic bread, pure deliciousness. Fork, you need your fork. And there you go. I will take pictures and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so there you have it, family. Roasted, or I'm sorry, rustic jackfruit pot roast with uh, a garlic bread on the side and it is served on a bed of rustic mashed potatoes and my tea is of course my jasmine oolong sweet tea and um, I apologize for the mistakes I am super tired and I love you all thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye